Paisanos, it's Nintendo Weekend Report. We're with the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. If your sink is in trouble, you can call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. So hang on to your seat Get ready for adventure and remarkable feats You'll meet the Koopas and Troopas The Princess and the others Hanging with the plumbers You'll be hooked on the brothers to the Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of the Nintendo Weekend Report. Now first off, I want to thank Nintendo and the Treehouse for putting up an awesome show at this year's E3. Uh, not only the digital event was, you know, a lot of fun, but watching the Treehouse streams was also a lot of fun. Like, I, I didn't get to see everything that went on, because I had to work uh, the past couple days of E3, but you know what? What I saw was really fun, and people really seemed to enjoy that, so... Uh, I hope you enjoy all the money that you take from this because you deserve it and you deserve to take all the money from all the Let's Players out there. Wait, what's that? Oh, you guys don't agree with me? I'm leaving the internet again. All right, all right, all right I'm just kidding. Um, now, first up, we have an interview with Tezuka, the guy behind Mario Maker, the Mario level editor for the Wii U. Now, uh, he revealed that there might be uh, more skins than what they showed uh, on the E3 floor. Now, on the, on the E3 demo, they showed uh, Super Mario Brothers and New Super Mario Brothers U uh, style of graphics for the level designs. And uh, he kind of hinted that we might see more when it releases in 2015. I mean, I would, I would definitely hope so if that release is so far away. Uh, now, he didn't really say if they're going to be like changing physics or anything like that, depending on the game or how certain games operate, but I'm definitely hoping we're going to see a plethora of different uh, Mario games represented in Mario power-ups and, you know, if we'll be able to change different attributes of those power-ups, because uh, as it stands, I mean, it seems like pretty decent as it stands, you know, what we saw in the E3 demo, but I would love more. And uh, he was also talking about how Mario Maker actually started out as a new Mario Paint title. But halfway through development, you figure, you know what, this might be more fun if we just let people make, more, make Mario games. Now, uh, he was talking about how, like, the process behind stuff like Mario Maker and Mario Paint. Like, he wanted to give players tools to create, but he also wanted to make it fun. He didn't want to just make it just, like, a program or just something that you would need vast amounts of knowledge to you know, kind of know how to work it and how to make really good levels. You want to make it fun, you want to make it easy to use, and that certainly shows in Mario Maker and, of course, Mario Paint back in the Super Nintendo, because, you know, I can't I can't draw for crap, but Mario Paint definitely made it a lot of fun, so uh, hopefully this will be just as fun. Now, as we all know, the Wii U is doomed, and Mario Kart 8 is going to be the lowest-selling Mario Kart of all time. So I guess that's why when the May NPD numbers came out, Mario was just at number two instead of number one. So uh, don't worry, guys. And the Wii U is still doomed, and no one's going to buy Mario Kart 8, and it's not going to save the Wii U or anything. It sold a pitiful 1.2 million in its opening weekend. So I don't know how Nintendo's going to survive. They should really just go third party because no one's buying their games, and not even not even Kirby's going to save Nintendo because that debuted at number nine. You know, the game that no one thought was going to sell at all or even make it, at the t make it in the top 10, that was a pitiful number 9. I mean, that should have been, the Nintendo games should be at number 1 if they're so popular, am I right guys? Now if you're like me, I'm still waiting on that unprecedented partnership that EA was promising with Nintendo back in 2011, and it looks like they're finally going to prove that they have a great partnership with them, and they're going to be supporting Nintendo all the way. So that's right, FIFA 15 is coming to Wii! And 3DS, but not Wii U though, because people are still apparently have their Wii hooked up and still waiting for new games. Uh, but yeah, uh, FIFA 15, uh, apparently coming to Wii for some reason. Uh, one of the coolest games that Nintendo showed off this year was Splatoon. Now this is kind of a team-based uh, strategic shooter where you splatter paint 
uh, over the course of the map and try to cover more paint than your opponents. Uh, now this is coming out in the first half of 2015 and they revealed that there will be a single player campaign because I was kind of worried about that if this is just going to be like a multiplayer only game uh, that's just released on eShop. This is going to be a full retail release. It's going to have a single player mode and it's also going to have a uh, two player local co-op. One person plays on the gamepad and one person plays on the TV with a pro controller. Now I'm hoping that this game supports a Wiimote and Nunchuck because that would that would be like absolutely perfect to control a game like this, uh, being able to point and just splatter paint wherever you want rather than just having to deal with an analog stick. But uh, I don't know, who knows? Uh, ho hopefully it will support a bunch of controllers. Uh, I'm not holding my breath on it, but uh, it would be definitely nice because that game looks awesome. Now, like I said last week, I didn't really expect a whole lot of big news coming out this week uh, due to Nintendo kind of blowing their load during E3. But I did want to mention one thing. There's a really cool Wii U eShop game coming out on July 3rd called Armillo. Now, I got to play this back at PAX in 2013, and I got to play a demo a couple months ago. Uh, and it is absolutely fun and charming, and I absolutely love it. It's basically Mario Galaxy meets Marble Madness meets Sonic meets Super Monkey Ball. And if that doesn't convince you to play it, I don't know what will. Uh, it is an absolute charming, fun game. And I I was not even asked to plug this game, but I that's just how much I believe in it. So if you haven't checked out Armillo, Please check it out. It's coming on July 3rd on the Wii U eShop. So, yeah. All right, so that's going to do it for me this week. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash KurtDogGaming. Follow me on Twitter at Curtis Bonds. Email me at Curtis at NintendoWorldReport.com. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And, no. Yep. Oh. Okay, I'll be on my way.